going for a PhD, had done bachelor's in polymer engineering and master's and a lot of research and papers. I mean, sounds like a really good situation, but how can they continue to convince the visa officer for now going to this PhD abroad in America? So if you got a PhD and you're going to be fully funded, most PhDs are fully funded. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a good chance of getting your visa issued. What you need to make sure is that the visa officer knows that it's fully funded. Saying that always helps. I'm going for my fully funded PhD, right? It's just another, you know, you're just gilding the lily when you do that. So saying that is key. In this particular situation, being from Iran and having a high level degree in a STEM field, there are a lot of regulations that are related to that. And we won't get into all those specifics. You can look them up and you can see, you know, these regulations are, are public and you can see what the visa regulations related to Iranians are. Mm -hmm. um, one of uh, the officers that works with Argo, he was the, the the Iranian visa expert in Turkey. And so he interviewed every single Iranian that came in through Turkey. He speaks Persian. He's our expert in-house on those regulations. And we've helped a lot of Iranians be able to get through their interviews, get their visas issued, but even better, get them issued more smoothly than otherwise, because there are a lot of a lot of pitfalls that can cause an Iranian visa application to take six months.